Spin-off movies are either one of two things, absolute really, really good or really, really bad. Where does this one hold up? Let's find out in just a second. However, before we get into all that jazz, hit that like button if you enjoy this film or comment down below if you do not like this film, easy as you like, and let's get into it. <laughs> So Planes, in my opinion, can definitely be in that conversation for being one of the worst spin-offs ever made. And I'm not even kidding there. Because if you have seen this film, you'll know it feels like a genuine rip-off of Cars rather than anything else, whilst not having the budget to match what Cars had. And there is a clear difference in the budget between this film and Cars, in which really hinders the success of this spin-off. And I'm not just going to sit there dissing this movie for the sake of it. This movie could have been a success if the money had been put into the right places and it was made by one of the companies either Pixar or Classics where the money provided would have been enough to make this movie a success as it really lacked any decent characters uh, in this movie. Dusty Crop Hopper weren't a bad character but the problem you had with him He's, he was so basic and quite dull as a character and you didn't have like a famous voiceover for that character to go, oh, get behind him, he's really, really good. And instead it just felt a little bit flat. As your big, biggest names in there was Val Kilmer, who was a bit washed up by this point, I'm not kidding. Uh, when I say that, I think he was a great actor, probably in like the 90s, but he, at this point, is quite washed up and doesn't really do much. Uh, you've got Stacey Keach, who is obviously the warden in Prison Break, who does a voiceover as well. And he's pretty good at what he does in this film, but at the end of the day, he's not, yeah, he's not a, an A-list. So you're really lacking that big A-list in there to do a great voiceover. And then you've got John Cleese and John Ratson version, which are your sort of like mid-card sort of voiceovers which could be great if used in the right manner and i don't think they were but yeah that's what i think really lacks in this film good direction good investment into the project to get good investment out it just felt like one of those movies that i think i mentioned in one of my other reviews i can't remember which one but i mentioned how disney looked at this movie as more of a okay we'll see how much it does rather than how much money they could make moving forward and how big of a franchise this could be if you pump a bit more extra money in you can get a lot more money out of that project but instead they went cheap with it and didn't make hardly any money out of that project or hardly any money compared to something like a cars or a toy story that they've made into mass franchises and made shit loads of money out of that's what they could have done with this spin-off but they didn't they didn't give it enough uh backing they didn't take it seriously enough in which is their own fault i think looking from a good point of view would be the dusty the crop hopper story of becoming like say helping on a farm being a fertilizer to then becoming a fully fledged racer seems to be a story which could be made and could have been fantastic however it was boring it came across quite stale in which he shouldn't have done they just didn't make it interesting enough and it would have been different from cars because obviously cars you've got a new rookie coming through that learns the trades and learns the skills to be what you would call a fully fledged racer from a veteran whereas this was like he was learning off veterans in dusty was learning off veterans in this movie to become a fully fledged racer and get out of being a, a crop hopper and that is basically a great story, but they basically didn't put enough money into it to make it good. I think they managed to bring it back up in the second film, in which I can't wait to talk about the second film, because the second film improves, but just not enough to to still talk about the whole franchise as, as, as a main uh, stay, like as in a big Disney franchise. So to summarise Planes, then for me, this is genuinely a really bad spin-off and one of the worst animation movies you'll ever see because the backing is just not good enough hence why i rate this movie a 5.3 out of 10 and a poor film let me know down in the comments down below whether you enjoy this film is it bad is it good is it amazing is it terrible let us know all that jazz down in the comments down below and hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video guys that'd be much appreciated hit that subscribe button hit that notification bell and I'll see you guys in the next one yes